This is the quarry that people are worried about. Lambat Arun Sandi is an elder who has been in the Moyuba community for decades and he explains the history of the quarry. The place came uh, uh, come into existence yeah, during the 50s according to history. This place came into existence in the 1950s. The government was mining stones here before and those stones were used in the construction of several roads in Freetown. They stopped because of the dangers the fragment caused to residents at that time. They later leased the land to Leon Sem, who also left after some time due to the same misfortune. Leon Sem, now they be leased this land to government. Now the last work here. After the last uh, uh, work here, now the same problem, make them left. Like Lambert, who has been in stone mining for a couple of decades, Others as well have been making ends meet through it despite the hard labor. Right now, I get three picking the women on that. I lost my husband many years ago, and it is through this stone mining I've been taking care of my three children. Even though we faced a lot of challenges here, I managed because I don't have something else that will give me money. They passed by this store. I didn't be able to get, I didn't be able to survive with his sister. I get five speaking there. I'm a father of five kids and I've been paying their fees through this stone business. Despite the fact that this place serves as a source of living for the people of the Moyuba community, but it is also a disaster prone area as five people have been reported dead here. Two were mining stones and lost their lives in the process of acquiring their living here. And three who got drowned in the water behind me. In the season, can come where the water can don't flop. Where some of the boys can go down for go play ball. Where the ball can go inside the water. The sun, where they can go for go pull and some man can left. We've been experiencing disaster here, of which five people have lost their lives. Two who were hit by a rock in the process of fetching water, and three people, including two children who were playing football, drowned in this pool of water during the rainy season. I'm not gonna chase a blitz in the eastern side in Senegal. Aside from the huddles they do encounter here, this 72-year-old quarry pit has been serving the entire Moyiba Phase 2 community with water. This water has been helpful to us for years. We use it for laundry and washing. And it is not good for cooking or drinking, but it is better because we have no other means of getting water. For me, I keep on for telling our government with the help we because my community will be strained really for water. The quarry is a dramatic feature on the edge of this community, and for the residents, it brings too much drama of the wrong kind. For SLBC News are in Freetown, Fatima Kamara reporting.